Welcome back to Got Game. The NASCAR Truck Series has a new full-time racer in the field this year. And local racing fans have been following Kannapolis native Daniel Hemrick at his every turn. Daniel, thanks for being on the show. Tell us, I mean, how's your first season going in the Truck Series? It's been a lot of fun the first year in the Kimberly Truck Series. I have an opportunity to run with NTS Motorsports and have California Clean Power backing us through this deal. It's been a lot of fun getting to know all the racetracks, learn the people you're racing with, and um, really just taking the whole experience in. Now, this season in the Truck Series, as we've been saying, it's just your first year. It's probably been a learning experience. It's in nine <laughs> races this year, we've got the stats here. You have one top five, four top tens, and just one DNF. So, what's been the biggest challenge, you know, in year one? Is it all the new tracks? Is it just adjusting to a new car? What's going on? Yeah, a little bit of everything. Um, every racetrack we go to is new for me. Um, between learning that, learning the aero side of it, trying yeah. to figure out where to put yourself. Um, and really the pit stops and learning the strategy you need to put yourself in contention to win the races at the end of the race and not too early in the race. So um, as a whole, I feel like as a team, NTS Motorsports, we've gotten better um, week in and week out, and it showed uh, with our progression the last month and a half, two months. One of the good things about you know, this racing community is that you can lean on a lot of these veteran drivers that you've looked up to or guys that maybe you've raced against. So which veteran cup drivers now have you spoke with and gotten advice from as you're now entering you know, your first year? Uh, for me, Brad Keselowski is a guy who comes down from the cup level to run in the truck level sometimes. And I try to lean on him before the race to figure out how he feels like the swing of changes are going to go throughout the night as we race. Um, Austin Dillon being another one of those guys, a good buddy of mine. We grew up together. And to hear his take on on what to expect going into a racetrack, you know, Tuesday or Wednesday, texting back and forth, um, trying to figure out how my truck needs to feel in practice to be good at night. Um, we've really focused on that, and they've been, both been a really big help to my career so far. Now, one thing that Brandon and I can't, I guess, we, we have an opinion about a lot of NASCAR drivers. <laughs> who cares? Yeah, about who cares ours? what we have to say? We want to know, uh, you know, someone that's, you know, in the saddle, yep. thinks about the big boys, you know, the cup guys. Um, I mean, I think we're going to go through the top three. Yes. Uh, who Daniel you made a list of, of his top three drivers <laughs> no right pressure. now in the spring cups. There's no pressure at all. No one's watching. Yeah, no, so we're going to put it on YouTube after. Everybody can see. Number three, who would you say is one of the top three drivers right now? I think Jimmy Johnson's a guy that ranks number three for me. Um, and we all, got video of it here, guys, if you could roll yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, number three only being for the fact that they've had good runs this year. They've had the consistency has been so-so. Um, but everybody knows that Chad and Jimmy, they really – they hit, pick up a whole nother level come the end of the year. They just got to make the chase. And once they get in, watch out because they'll, they'll figure out a the way. Chase. Guaranteed. Well, I mean, five times yeah, in a row. Yeah. They'll be in. Yeah, they're pretty number, good at it. Number two now was a little bit of a surprise to me, but you think one of the Bush brothers is number two, Kurt. Yeah, Kurt for sure. Um, the way he's made an impact in the last three to four months in the sport, uh, coming right back with a big win at Richmond, um, pulled out a backup car at Michigan, win a race. You win a race of a backup car, that's pretty impressive, so he's number two for me. And you see right here your number one driver, no surprise, Mr. Kevin Harvick. <laughs> this guy is, as it says on his car, freaky fast. Guaranteed. Consistency on, with that guy and his team are unbelievable, and uh, they've shown it all year with the consistency of finishes, one-two finishes, something crazy number like 11 or 12, whatever it is, yeah. um, they're definitely going to be a threat the rest of the year. Real quick, yes or no, is he going to win the championship again this year? It's going to be tough, but uh, a lot of guys are going to do a lot of different stuff to beat him, I think. That's, the, that's a good answer, a good non-answer. I like that. Good job, Daniel. Thanks for being on Absolutely. tonight. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. You're the man. Thank All right, next I got game. It's back to basketball. The Hornets organization making news nearly every single day this past week. On top of the draft, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver was in town. He helped announce the All-Star 